this character right here takes me all the way back to my 8-bit childhood. <laughs> What is going on Draw2 Crew, Ramdi here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are going to be tackling Mario or Super Mario, uh, Nintendo's mascot and also from the game uh, Super Mario Brothers, the franchise, as well as Super Smash Brothers. On this channel I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos so if you guys like what you see make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well and don't forget also to like this video. With Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coming out in just a few days, I thought it would be very appropriate to do a tutorial on Mario. I know many of you guys have been asking for one anyway. And Super Smash Bros. is one of those video games that makes me wish I owned a Nintendo Switch. I do not. So, however, I go way, way back with uh, Mario dating back to the old school classic Nintendo. Yes, that's how old I am. I remember playing that video game. I remember it being kind of hard but also a lot of fun. All right, so let's do this. Before you start, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. And having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, let's begin, you guys. I've got my paper in landscape mode for this Mario drawing, and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle uh, on the left side of my page here, a little bit further from the center. So here's my center line, imaginary center line, because I didn't really draw it, and I'm gonna draw a circle right here. And we're gonna draw Mario full body. Make sure you draw your, your, your lines, your circles lightly for now, okay? So here we are, there's our circle. Now you guys will notice that this drawing is gonna consist of a lot of different shapes, like different uh, big shapes. And once we get those shapes right, then we can draw Mario. So here's that first one. It is a circle, obviously. And I'm gonna draw a circle right here. Now this is gonna be for the nose. And actually it's more of an oval than a circle. Just like this, so kind of Let's fix that a little bit. Let's draw it a little bit more flatter like this, okay? So there's our Mario nose right there, overlapping. And as we do that, now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna draw the chin right underneath the nose, okay? So here goes down and then bring this sideways like this. So there's Mario's chin and imagine this sort of goes through this way. And then there's Mario's cheekbone right there. Now I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So there you go. So there's our line right here. Now we've got Mario's uh, chin and cheek. Okay, good. Now let's draw the ear. The, I'm going to draw the ear in a bit of an oval right here as well. About the size of the ear or the nose. And then from here, kind of where the ear crosses the line here. I'm just going to draw a line across just to give us a sense of where we want that hat to go. And then the hat. We'll worry about the hat a little bit later on, but I'm just going to sort of create like this from here, this curve goes up and then down and then curves into the ear like this. So now we've kind of got an idea of how the hat is going to be shaped and where it's gonna go, okay? So there's the head. And obviously the center is gonna be right here. I'm just gonna draw the center there. Of course, the center of the nose is gonna be right here. Okay, that's good. So now let's kind of draw the fist, the two fists and then the torso. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of find that fist right here, uh, right where the cheek and the nose meet, right here, comes out. Okay, and then just right here, this goes down. And then I'm gonna slowly sort of make this oval shape about this big and that's going to be Mario's fist. And we'll shape that a little bit later on. I'm just gonna draw an oval right here so that we know where the thumb is going to go. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's one fist beneath his face, and then the other fist is going to be to the right of his ear. So from this tip, about this far out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a slightly bigger 
uh, oval than this one right here. And this one is gonna be long this way. So you guys notice that this oval kind of stands up like an egg does. And this one is like laying down. Okay, so there's our oval right there. And that's gonna be for the other fist, of course. And I'm gonna draw my thumb right here. It's good. We'll draw the rest a little bit later on. Okay, there you go. So those are our basic shapes for the hands. Now let's draw the torso. Line going straight down, just a little bit past this. So this goes here, a little bit past, that's good. And then diagonal this way. Okay, and then right here, where the chin kind of meets the circle, like this jawline here. Here's a shoulder. And then here's the back. So it's two curves. This curves like this. This sort of curves like this. Okay. And then I'm going to draw like a little butt right here, which is going to be covered, so I'm not too worried about it. But essentially what I'm making is this bean shape right here. And that's going to be Mario's body. And you kind of want uh, this bean shape to kind of be the size, similar to the size of his head from here to here. So, you know, don't make it too big. Just have it around the size of his head from hat to chin. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I could even make it even smaller than that, to be honest. So let's make it even smaller. And it's okay to make mistakes, as I always say, because I'm filming this live, first of all. So yes, I will be making mistakes. But that's what art is. Art is not perfect. Art is about making mistakes and learning from them. Okay. So there you go. There's our smaller torso for our Mario and that's good okay now I'm going to draw a few more shapes okay here just underneath the fist right here and about this far away from like this butt part like that okay so this distance away this distance away you got the curve of the foot there this goes this way let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see and I think I think that's a good, that's good right there. Okay. So that goes like that. And a little bit lower than here, about this far down, I'm gonna bring it like this. So it's sort of starting to look like a pear shape with a bigger side at the top, a smaller side at the bottom. Okay. And same thing here. There you go. So more, more like a bean than a pear. There's one foot there. And then the other foot is going to be down here, right here. It's going to be smaller, almost touching the tip. So here's the small part of the foot. And then here's the wide part of the foot right here. And I'm being careful not to make it any bigger than this. I kind of want this one to be bigger than this right here. Okay. There you go. Not quite done. But those are our basic shapes. And now let's sort of connect the limbs together, connect them all to the body. Okay, so we're going to start right here at the shoulder. We're going to bring this to the arm like that. And then same thing here, like that. Okay, and then this right here, this goes in and then elbow and then into Mario like this. Okay, I'm going to draw a curve right here and a line just like that. So now we know where the, uh, the arm curls there. Okay, I'm going to draw a knee from here, so it goes across like this, and I'm going to bring it down to this point, like that, and then from here, this goes this way to the this side of the foot, so it looks like he's got like a bent knee, and then right here is going to be the butt, I'm going to draw this butt right, going right into the body like that okay so here you sort of see the the foot bending like that okay and then the last one is going to be kicking out and i'm going to draw this right here that's like the knee part and then from here this line right here i'm going to connect it to right there okay so if i were to erase this can kind of see how the body is starting to look. OK, 
Okay, so here's the here's the belly right here, and he's sort of kicking out, just like that. Okay, so there's our basic Mario shape. Now let me just recenter this and zoom in, and uh, there you go. Now I'm going to grab myself a brand new pencil that's sharp, and I'm going to go in and start working on the details of our Mario drawing. So you guys go ahead and do the same, pause the video if you need to, and then let's get to work. Okay, so now we've got our face, and I'm going to erase this circle right here. Just erase the traces of that circle, and what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where the mustache is going to go, and that's a pretty iconic look for Mario, right? So here's our nose. I should even erase the center of that nose because it's not really important. Okay, this is going to curve like this, and then this one sort of goes into the cheek like that. So there's the top of our mustache. Okay, right here there's gonna be three cur curls. One, two, and the third one like this. One, two, three. Shade that in. There's the mustache. Okay, and then this one is just gonna be shaded in like this. Fairly simple. His mouth just beneath that, you guys should have a little bit of room down at the bottom here. And it's just going to be a series of uh, these rainbows, upside down rainbows, I guess you could say. So one, we're going to draw three, two, and then three. Actually, just two is fine. And then the bottom one, let's fix that. One, two, and then the bottom one is not quite full. It just goes like this. Okay, so it doesn't go from one side to the other. It's, it's just this curve underneath the mouth, like this. Okay, so now let's draw the eyes. And I'm going to draw the eye line right here and here, just above the mustache here. And you kind of want it within the mustache. So you want it here, just above the mustache, and not touching the nose. So this point and this point is where I want. I'm going to draw this kind of a U, upside down U shape, and then curl these corners and then flatter at the bottom. Okay, and then this one is going to be closer to the center. It's going to go like this. Okay, and then this one's going to curl like this. So you want to make sure that they kind of are aligned at the top here. There you go. So there you go. I've got those two Mario eyes. Now let's draw the pupils and the iris, and it's going to be to the right side, like that, one, and then an oval inside, two, okay, and then a circle at the top, and then shade this in, there's our eye. And then this is the tricky part, you kind of want to uh, draw this lightly, but you want to do the same thing on this side. and you don't want it to look derpy or anything. And that's why I'm asking you guys to draw it lightly. And when you get the shape right, it's gonna be a little bit skinnier, by the way, because the eye is a little bit skinnier because of the, the angle. Okay, let's circle the top, shade it in. There it is. Right now he's looking a little too happy, so let's give him a, um, a V-shaped eyebrow, like these, these looking slightly angry like that and then same thing here there you go so now mario is looking seriously angry okay he's got hair coming down this goes down from the hat and sort of makes this imagine what a bone the way that you draw bone that's how it looks on that side and then on this side you just see a little bit of it along with the ear you see a little bit of the ear like that Okay, looks a little funny still with this curve, so I'm going to erase that curve. Okay, okay, now let's draw the brim of the hat. Goes out like this. Okay, so from one eyebrow, it sticks out like that. Goes back in. Okay, from here back to here. curve. 
Okay, I'm gonna double up here. Just fixing it. I wanna get those curves nice. This goes across. I'm gonna bring it a little bit higher up. And this one, I want it to kind of go a little bit higher up as well. So I want it to go this high and then bring it down like this. You want the top of the hat. So if I draw a line right here, this is the center line. You kind of want the top of the hat to sort of be even right here and here. So right here, you kind of just want to create that evenness. Okay, and there you go. And then this goes this way. So there's our hat, our iconic Mario hat. That goes like that. And then another curl inside, like an oval almost, and then another oval like this. So a very cartoonish kind of Mario ear. And there's our face right there, you guys. Now, um, last thing, of course, is the M. And I'm gonna draw the M. I'm gonna erase this because I actually want the M to be right here looking like this, okay? So I'm gonna draw this, not quite a semicircle, a little bit more than a semicircle right there. And that's our, the white part that has the M inside. And then the M is a pretty iconic, the first thing you wanna do is like two V shapes right here. And then you wanna bring that down like this, down like this, so that makes an M. And then this one goes down and then down like this, okay? So it is a very distinct looking M shape. And it's not just any M, it's a pretty, it's got its own distinct look, okay? And right here it's diagonal, and here it's diagonal as well, okay? Mario, there he is. All right, not quite done yet though. So now let's draw the hands. Let's draw this one first, okay? So we've got I'm going to flatten this because it's going to be a fist. Okay, we've got our thumb right here, right? I'm going to draw one, two, three bumps right there. It's for his, his gloves have these like ridges. And then just divide one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. Curves, that's where you have the knuckles, right? And then bring it down diagonal like this. And then curl it where you can see the fingers. Just curve these parts. Okay. And then the glove has a lip right at the wrist. So this is that. And then lastly, there's a seam that goes on the side of the finger, the small finger here. The pinky goes down into the glove like that. So there you go. Pretty basic. So I'm going to draw another curve right here. That's for the elbow curve, right? There you go. Okay. So now we've got that. This is the center of the torso right here. Okay. And then let me actually just draw a line from here going across like this and then Kind of going around to the back like that right here where the armpit is all right good so there's that and then now what we're going to do is we're going to find the two yellow buttons that he has the two clasps that connect his overalls the strap at the top to the front and it's going to be right here kind of just above or right on the like the leg part right here and it's just this bulge that goes like that and then the other one is going to be right here. I'll draw it slightly big. Yeah, that's a good size. Okay. And then from here, let's draw the straps. So from the shoulder, it goes down. It goes like this. On each side here. And then here, it makes like this V shape right there. Okay, and then on this side, you don't really see much of the strap, except for like two lines that I drew right there. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna erase this. And then here's the, uh, what do you call it, the overalls. It goes that way and then it goes this way. Okay, we'll add a little bit more detail to that later on. I'm just gonna erase that center line there. And there you go, you guys can see it. If I erase this, now you guys can see the arm is like punching out. Okay, so now let's draw the, the hand. We've already got the thumb. Let me just draw like the side of the thumb right here. So here's our thumb. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line going across this way and then straighten that, straighten this. And then from the thumb line going across this way. Okay, from here, bring it down, curve it underneath the thumb and then goes up again and then straighten this like that. So I just essentially turned this, that oval into like a, a, a blockier look because it is of course a fist. Okay, let's divide. Starting here, I'm gonna divide it into four. Okay, here's the, where the knuckle is right here. So it changed directions going down. I curl these to make it look like fingers. Okay, we've got our thumb already covering it. And this goes in like that, and then like this. Okay, and then that very same seam that we drew over here, we're gonna draw on this side of the, of the finger. So it goes this way, this way, this way, and then down. And it actually goes into the thumb. Good. Okay, again, this glove has this lip on the wrist it goes like that okay and then here we go here's armpit wrinkles right there a little bit of a bump for the shoulder and then this just goes out good so we're done pretty much the top half we just have to add more details to the pants and as well as the feet so let's do the details on the on the overalls now. I'm gonna grab myself another pencil here and just from here, bring it down, just doubling up on those outlines. So just on the inside and same thing over here and here. There you go. Okay, now let's sort of create the illusion of a, a belly by sort of creating this curve from here. It goes up to there. And then straight line and then go back like this. Okay, right here is a little bit of a pocket and then it sort of just goes into the curve of the pants where the knee is, so this is gonna be the knee. Okay, and then right here I'm gonna draw a seam where that ends like that. Okay, and then lastly we've got the I don't know what you call it really, but it's like the crotch, uh, the crotch area of jeans or denim. It's two lines like this where the zipper is. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring that this way and then the seam of the pants is gonna go this way. And then the bottom of the pants actually goes this way. Okay, good. All right, so let's do the feet and I'm going to divide this about so I'm going to create like this space right here so this is going to be the actual shoe okay and then I'm going to draw the seam right here for the where the pants meets the shoe just like that okay so here's the actual shoe it's leather and then the rest of it like this right here is going to be the bottom of the shoe and you draw two lines here one two Bring this down to the bottom and then back up to this point here. And then this goes out. It makes its way up. And then same thing here. This goes from this corner, goes out like this, and it creates the sole, the side of the sole. There you go. And there's really no no pattern or anything in the sole of Mario's feet. 
and some wrinkly lines here. Not too much. He's a very basic design character there. Okay, and then let's do the same thing on this side. So let's let's do the shoe first. So we got this shape. Now I'm going to reshape it so that we have this separation between the sole and the shoe. And this right here is the shoe part, and this is the sole part. I'm going to draw two lines again, like that. Okay, from here, there's the side of the sole there. This goes out. There you go. And then from here, this corner, this goes out. And then here's the side of the sole, bringing it down the, up to this point here. There you go. Okay, now lastly, here we have the jeans kind of curling, curving a bit. And then right here, looks a little awkward, but that's how it is. Those are just parts, a part of the pants here. Okay, so imagine, this is the belly here. There's a seam that goes on the side of the jeans that goes down to here. And of course right here, I'm gonna create this gap and then this line to show where the end of the, um, the pants goes. Let me bring it in like that. Okay. And there you have it, you guys. Just fix it up some. It's a simple character, but uh, a little bit complicated to draw, to be honest with you guys. He's a, he's a bit of a challenge as well. Okay, just fixing up these lines here now. Just want to get it all nice and nice and nicely lined. And there you go, you guys. There is our Mario from, of course, the Super Mario uh, franchise for Nintendo, as well as Super Smash Brothers. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys were successful in your Mario drawings. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.